Okay, we are for the second part of the second round FPO field here in uh, Vasset Disc Golf Course, Norway. Eight stop of the Euro Tour this season, also part of the DGPT Silver Series Tour. I'm here with who? With Greg Snell. Hey. Hey, Max. Happy to be back here for the back nine coverage of our FPO lead card. And this is uh, the first stop on the European swing for the Disc Golf Pro Tour as well, which is very cool to see. But if you are watching from uh, North America and you haven't seen much of the Euro Tour so far, you're going to see a lot of new names. We've got uh, some exciting FPO players that are making a name for themselves in Europe, uh, including Anakin Steen, who is currently our leader. And let's take a look at our scores for the front nine. Yeah pretty comfortable comfortable gap so far for Anakin between her and the second place battle for the second spot between Rachel and Ingvild, Katarina Stalezen back to the lead card if she keeps going like this. Let's see, yeah, and Marte fell down a bit in uh, the standings, unfortunately after 2 on hole 4 if you missed it on the front nine. Hole 10, par 5, 211 meters, same layout as the MPO, just the par is different here, so you have a straight shot through all those trees. You have a Mendo right now that you need to deal with, so you go on that right side, there is some garden trees protecting the second part of the fairway. Then you go, you go, you go, you need to take that gap, and then the third part to go to the green, is protected by some rocks on the ground and some a lot of uh, small garden trees actually and an OB line close to the basket around 9-10 meters behind the basket so be careful not to be long on the approach let's go yeah this is a very challenging uh, par 5 for our ladies and the first of two in a row so we've got uh, a lot of throws that they need to kind of link together here you can see the mando off in the distance oh and that nice. is a fantastic shot from Ingvild yeah, ended up a bit too much on the left, but should be okay. Should have yeah, a look. Still, yeah, I mean, the, she should have a nice, like, you know, easy kind of chip to get around that Mando and, and, and cut off more of the fairway. There's a lot of really low-hanging branches on this fairway. You see the, the low ceiling. Get and back. Rachel, oh, that's that, amazing. That looks amazing. If this gets a bit of skip. Oh, man, uh, that's, that's a perfect, perfect spot, man. Not too long, not too close from all those trees. Uh, making our catch cam turn around and she will be right in front of the Mando and looking down uh, the hallway for her second shot. Oh, early it. release for Anakin. Oh, what? Oh, it's fought through, though. Must be an understable disc. She got the flip and uh, that's actually not a bad spot for the lefty. She'll be able to heise her through that gap. Having a nice chat here with Marte. We've got three Norwegians on the card playing in Norway, so I'm sure they all know each other quite well. And another flick off the oh, tee. This is a challenging it's shot. High, fading uh, to the right. It's going to be tight to yeah, get over the Mendo on the second shot. It plays much better for the backhand, but let's see if Anakin has the hyzer. There's the Mando. She's got to get around the left side, and she just wants to chip around to give herself a wide open third, which is smart. That's a yeah, good golf shot. Perfect shot. Perfect uh, execution and perfect just game plan. It's uh, It's pretty nice. No. From Anakin, a bit long for Marte. Marte. Won't be in the yeah. best spot for the third shot. Now, I really want to see where Ingvild ended up. She's going standstill, backhand. If that flips to flat and she's caught an early tree, unfortunately, you're right, Max. She was a little too far left. Whereas this right here is a very nice position. You should see, uh, yeah, look at her. She's even past the Mando tree. It's just there on her right. You need to forget about that tree in the middle, and that's exactly what she does. Beautiful. Fantastic shot from Rachel. So you're a bit too much on the right now, so uh, we'll see if she has a clear gap to go to the basket. Yeah, there's a lot of guardian trees down on that right side, mm -hmm. but she might have gone far enough that she could have like almost a jump putt approach. We'll see. Yeah, maybe around 30, that was a 40. Nice, that was a nice shot from Martha for her third. You know, her drive was out of position, so to be able to get there with that standhill sidearm was pretty good. Anakin forcing one over and playing the Anheuser flick, and she may be in the same position as Rachel down on that hill. Yeah, just playing the fourth, and Rachel the third. And Ingvid for her third. Uh -oh. That's really high. It's going to get knocked down for sure. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, nice to catch this three. There is that OB line on the right that I didn't mention in the intro, so I think it was good for her to, to catch those branches. Hmm. 
yeah, it could have faded out down that hill. So that looks like a bit of an attack, but she's come up short and getting knocked down by those uh, sort of rocky hill there. Now here's Anakin for her fourth. Our leader. Indeed. She's looking at the lefty hyzer to get through this sort of guardians mm. kind of, yeah, trying to get around them in a way, but uh, getting knocked down, probably edge of the circle. Marte going get down, down the rocks. Get down. It's got to, yeah, it's got to stop. Okay. And it has. C1. No bees. Yeah. Good shot. Cutting back uphill. Not bad. She's really been leaning heavily on that zone. If you guys have missed our front nine coverage, that's uh, one of her favorite discs right now, and it's doing good for her. Rachel. Oh, nice. She had a, so she had a flick approach. You see, she wanted to get around all those guardians and uh, did, did so pretty well. And she'll be looking at a putt just outside of the bullseye. Oh, yes. For par. No, oh, for birdie. birdie. Birdie, Is birdie, it birdie, for birdie? birdie. Yeah, yeah, the par yeah, five, yeah. right? Of course, it's a par five. It's going to be a birdie for Rachel, I think. And that was a very good tree from uh, Ing Ingvild knocking her down inside of the bullseye. Oh no, Anakin. Whoa. Early tree, and she's still out. So this is an 11 meter putt. Come on, Anakin. So, ah, um, a bit low. It's, yeah, think... it's uh, you know, like uh, not usual to see Anakin high on the chains and, you know, catching the bend. It's, uh, it's a lot of times a bit too low. Indeed. And uh, unfortunate miss there from Marte as well. And she is still out here at about six meters. Mm. Oh, that's really sad. I think that's going to be a double bogey. And yeah, she's just going to sit down and have a think about that one. And here we've got Rachel looking for a birdie, if I'm not mistaken. Or Yeah, exactly. One. Yeah, that's a birdie look. And she's in. Nice. Great. Man, birdie on this one is, uh, is huge. Yeah, I get confused with the change of the par, but it's a par five here for FPO. Yeah, and par four for uh, for MPO. Yeah, indeed. And in the previous years, it was a par five for MPO also, but it changed with the venue of DGPT on Europe. In Europe. And a tap and bogey there for Ingvild. And I believe this is for double bogey for Mate. Yes, sir. And Anakin looking for the bogue correct yeah it's a tap in bogey oh no 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 double yeah, yeah that's a double right she hit the tree early man it's hard to keep track of these par fives hey my goodness and here comes <laughs> another one <laughs> yeah another one a bit yeah more open now on uh, this whole 11 par 5 240 meters so you have that first part of the fairway down that hill you need to take care of that ob lines on the right and on the left then you try to go up on that plateau if you have the distance on the first shot you can attack a bit more and try to get here where the drone is easier for the lefties and then you have uh, ob's on the right that you need to deal with it's pretty far from the basket so not too dangerous you have that uh, steep slope that can be dangerous for the players with the rollaways. Be careful on the green and on the approaches. Oh, yeah. Look Rachel cheating. Yeah. Look at that beautiful view in the background there, Max. That's amazing. That That's the best place to play disc golf. I, yeah. I don't know what to say. It's it's crazy in there. They're in Norway. Oh, that's getting lifted by the wind. It's got to get down. That's perfect, man. Nice. Left Great side shot. of the fairway there just opens up the look to go uh, yeah. over that hill. Nice distance standstill as well. But you're going to see a much different conditions here from just our last hole with uh, back out into the open for our ladies exactly. playing with some of this wind. It's a nice rip from Ingvild. She's also looking high on that left side, very close to Rachel's uh, drive two nice positions again rachel stand still going for some rip it's crazy uh oh that's and gotta get around it yeah not catching it not doing the nice. mistakes twice good. good job from anakin yeah that's a nice shot and the flick from marte from marte also looks quite good. She'd get down into the fairway. She's a bit on the right side, but she will have a wide open look to get up that hill. So where the our players are looking to land is up on top of that second platform. You can see where disc is flirty with that tree. 
I don't think it made it. Looked like it got hit down right at the very end. Not sure. And yeah, the and second it's more shot. Of a rip. Yeah, it's pretty interesting for the left. He's here. She can fade out good. easy peasy, and that looks super nice. Yeah, that's exactly where you want to be, You're giving yourself that flat footing for a big approach shot, and uh, great, great positioning there from Anakin. Oh, look at that late flip. It's gonna fade deep though. Let's see if that uh, sort of floated down into the fairway or if she's ended up in those bushes. You really get a good idea of that wind here. It was very blustery today with lots of, of gusts. Yeah, really. That uh, the, the the back nine is a bit more in uh, into the the open spaces. So, yeah, with uh, a lot of water carries too, which makes it uh, very interesting. So we'll see how our FPO field can attack it today. And she did not make it. She just came up short, right on the edge. Oh, that looks like a nice shot. It'll be probably short from the green, but still, she's in the fairway. Anakin going for a high-speed driver, so she's looking to make the green from here for sure. It plays well for the lefty. If you can get that late fade back towards the basket, looks really nice. Spike down. And are we in the circle? Ooh. Mm -hmm. I think so. Right, yeah. right on the edge, but fantastic shot there. That's uh, exactly what we're looking to see. Come on, Ingvild. Be careful with that tree. Yeah, wide. Good shot. Yeah, that's definitely sort of the righty line. She just needed to get a bit more forward momentum to reach the basket and kind of got caught by that tree a little bit. Yeah, early. exactly. Slowed down by the branches. And now she's in position to go for the basket, but with a dangerous look with the, with the slope. Yeah, Rachel's got a similar look here. She oh, missed looks the amazing. tree. That looks amazing. It's just got to go forward, and it has right in the bullseye. Fantastic shot and she, from Rachel Touton. She knew. <laughs> <laughs> it's not French. It might actually be a French Touton. last name. Rachel Touton. I and love it, man. up there from Ingvild. It's a bit of a death putt with that uh, slope right behind the basket, but I do expect Anakin to be running this after her double bogey. Wow. Oh, yeah. Wow confidence i love absolutely. it absolutely great putt you can see there's a huge drop off and she get a bit of love there from rachel and this is also a tap in birdie well done beautiful May, man like two birdies two in a row back to back 10 and 11 is amazing yeah and and honestly both of them weren't that far from the basket either i mean she's made the putts but they uh you know, both both were within seven meters, which is really impressive on two par fives. Yeah, it's so great, wow. great play from Rachel. Yeah, great way to enter the back nine for Rachel after a bit of struggle. Yeah, and now she's tied again for uh, second place at eleven exactly. over. Exactly. So hole twelve here, we have a lot of water, a lot of OBs. It's a part four for the ladies, so they can go on the right side of that fairway to. Yeah, you gotta watch out for my boat too there on the right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't break Greg's boat, please. So you can attack the basket straight, but it's super dangerous. If you miss it, you will need to go to the drop zone. And yeah, the game plan here will, will be to, to go on the right side of the fairway and try to take the, the easy birdie comfortable. Be careful, the, the basket is, uh, is on that hill again, and so the, dangerous with the rollaways. And this wind, man, it's going to get you. Look at that. And you Rachel can see wants nothing to do with it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. It's a bit short, you know, you can attack it a bit more, but exactly what you're saying, she doesn't want to deal with anything here. Now, Anakin went for it yesterday, and, and she, I'm really curious to see if she does it. And again. it looks, looks like, like Oh yeah. I think she is, yeah. Come back, you please. can see from her eyes that she's she's staring it down. She has the distance. Uh oh. Yeah, she might be caught up in some of the rocks there. No big graphics, man. Yeah, and this is a bit of a forgiving drop zone as well, so it doesn't uh, penalize you too badly if you miss, like, totally, you know? Um, we might see that with uh -oh. this one. I'm not sure that's going to make it. Oh, oh wow. Oh, what a cut shot. Oh, roll back into the OB, but she yeah. will play from there. Dang, I thought she was going to be in the water, though. That was actually uh, a really surprising result, but still OB, which is... Not really surprising, but still, it's uh, but we, heading for my boat. Get off my boat. And we miss nice. Marta again. What is going on? 
Yeah, we'll see where they're second, but that was a fantastic shot from Rachel there. She'll have a, a wide open approach to uh, tap in a par. And here is Marte, which is uh, not a bad location really for her second. She's looking to kind of flex one and fade into that gap. It looks really nice if the wind can push it towards the basket, which I think it did, but she got the OB, so it must have pulled back and rolled down the hill. Here's the drop zone for Anakin, so she was OB. And... Oh, oh catching the branches. I thought it was good. Yeah, she did a much better job of that yesterday. So this is another shot from the drop zone for Ingvild. And our leader, Anakin, will probably be looking at a pitch up for the par. Oh, That's the shot wow. right there. Fantastic, fantastic shot. And she'll be looking to tap in the par. And then this is Marte coming back up. And I believe that was her Fifth? fourth shot. Fourth? No, fourth. Yeah, yeah fourth maybe. She'll yeah. be tapping in the bogey. And this is for birdie. Long, long look. But, uh, yeah, she's just laying that up. And now here's Anakin. This is where her drop zone shot uh, landed. So she's looking up at the basket from outside of the circle for par. Okay. Staying there. Almost. Almost. And Rachel to save the par. You need to hit the chains now. Good job from yep, Rachel. Well done. And the only uh, clean... Uh, scorecard from this hole. Everybody else has played OB. And I'm pretty so, sure, Marte, we, we saw a small, you know, outside of the bush shot. So I'm pretty sure Marte is going for the double bogey here. Mm. Yeah, we'll see what what happened to her first drive. Yeah, yeah exactly. Well Good call. Okay, and Annie nice. can... That is not a No, nah, that's not a birdie, definitely. Unbelievable stuff from Paul McBeth. Beast man. Beast mode. And we're about to see the beast course in Nokia too for the European Open next weekend, which is going to be awesome. Oh, so yeah. Really happy to see a lot of those North American MPO players exactly. over. And uh, yeah, let's talk about hole 13. This one was almost aced by James Conrad today. Yeah, exactly. Seven meters. You need to cross that water. So you can go far to go on that plateau. You will have a death putt. If you want to be touchy, you, yeah, you're in, in danger to just uh, drop down that hill and, uh, and go to the drop zone. The drop zone is in the woods behind the basket. So if you go there, you have a death putt. Also, it's going to be a layup. This is a fantastic disc golf hole. You got a, a really nice look at the basket off the tee. And if you filter out like Anakin's done there, you still made it up onto this plateau, giving yourself a putt. But unless you're really close to the basket, basically any putt, including the drop zone, is an absolute death putt. So really, really plays uh, plays well for our competitors here. We got a nice shot from Rachel. This oh, is what we no. saw. Yeah, we saw that from Nate Perkins earlier where he hit the tree and it just filtered down and stayed in bounds. And Rachel getting the unlucky kick and dropping out of bounds. But it is possible to crash into this tree. Yeah, if you go through. through. But as we can see from two drives there, uh, the odds are against you. So better to try and get it right through this gap. Here's a flick from Marte, but she's going to fade into that same tree. Does this have the distance? I don't think so, mm -mm. no. So we have three drop zone shots and a long look from Anakin. And you will see from this drop zone, it is a, a touchy shot. So Anakin's up first, just laying up smartly for the tap in par. Yeah, I don't think she was, she probably wasn't thinking to run that, no. Yeah, I definitely not to me. No, we're going to see three layups here, but this is... Uh, this is one of those moments in disc golf where, you know, it's a risk reward scenario and uh, you got to really take a look at your scorecard and decide what you want to do because, you know, you could potentially save the par or you could end up with a real big number coming back. Yeah, definitely. You you just go for the next one and uh, take your pill, go away. Who was it last year in MPO, though, that ran it from the drop zone and actually made it? Knut. Knut. Yeah, yes, yeah. Course. If you want to see that, you go on the coverage from last year and you will see that you can do it. Yeah, another great Norwegian player as well. 
but we got a couple of tap in bogeys here and our leader Anakin taking a stroke on the card with a par. And Rachel was looking for the disc, hopefully she found it, hole 14, par 5, so par 4 for the, the men. Again, that situation, 202 meters, you have to cross that water to go in the first part of the fairway. So a lot of OBs, water on the left, the road is on the right. It's really tight here where the road is, so you need to go over the, the road and go back. And then again, second part of the fairway, you go to the green, slide downhill slope from uh, from right to left. So normally, no, not too many troubles on the on the green. Let's see how the ladies go for it. Anakin up first, lefty backhand, looking to make that gap. Good shot. She's flirting with that tree, but I think it's going to pass it. Oh, oh no, just on Bad the inside, dropping her OB. Myself. Yeah, okay, that's, that's going to be an OB for Anakin. Yeah, and there is a drop zone just right there, exactly. but it did not have as much uh, power moving forward as I thought. There's a bit of a depth perception game happening here. Oh, it looks good. Careful. It's going to fade early. Yeah, careful with the OB stop, on the stop, left, stop, please. Stop, 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 No. 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 <sighs> wow. Yeah, she's surprised. I think she thought that was staying in bounds, but uh, got a little bit too much ground play, and uh, she has filtered OB on the left side of the fairway. Up next is Ingvild. She's got a nice move on this. If that can fade in front of that tree or behind that oh, tree. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was That's fantastic. a rip, man. Man, this depth perception of our T-cam is throwing me off today. But a uh, great shot there from Ingvild right in the middle of the fairway. And let's see if this can make it. It looks like it's going to fade just in front. Oh, that is inbounds, folks. She has made it across. Not bad. So up next, second shot here from Marte, lining up the sidearm with what looks to be a driver. It's got to get down. Should be get okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th there is that nice. slope there. No risk. Yeah. Good shot. And I believe we'll have... Okay, Anakin's up next from the drop zone, throwing three. Come on. Take it. Oh, oh. oh. That's, That's in danger. That's too stable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Second O before her. Uh, too stable, just couldn't get over on it. And, hey, uh, Tomeric. Hey, Tomeric. <laughs> All right, here's a big shot from Ingvild, her second, going right over the top of the hill at that Innova banner. That's going to be a fantastic position. Nice. Oh, yeah. So close, but okay. Yeah, but great shot. That's uh, where you want to be. She'll have a wide open look at the uh, at the basket from there. She'll yeah. be an easy approach. And that's a part five also. That's right. Yeah, so she'll be looking at the birdie. And here is Rachel just kind of pitching out to give herself a look. That was her third after going OB, unfortunately, off of her drive. But she'll be looking to save the par. And now this is Anakin throwing her fourth after two OB throws. And man, so just to go back to, to this, but uh, it was a birdie on hole 12 for Anakin. It's not a mistake. Mm. You know, we thought, it's, but uh, it's oh, not a mistake. I don't really... So she must have thrown a provisional from the drop zone. Oh, yes. Thinking that her disc never made it or that she was OB. That's exactly what happened. And then she made the putt. Okay, that makes sense. Wow. Okay, yeah. so man. Wow. Yeah, because her drive, it looked like it made that peninsula, but it was like, you know, well low of the actual green. So I'm guessing nobody could actually see it. Okay, and that's, that's, that's why, man. Okay. Yeah, but that makes sense. And that is going OB into the water. I hope she gets that disc back. She's been throwing it all around. That was her zone from Marte. Here's Rachel from another awkward position. Just been a really tough hole for her. And here is Ingvild with a fantastic look at the basket. I mean, that could be an eagle no, chance. No, 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 no. Oh, I oh, hope that's in she bounds. makes it. Yeah, I know. That's in bounds. But she yeah. could have done better. Yeah, still. I mean, it, it looks like she's not too far away from the basket. Yeah, hopefully. For the comeback birdie. All right, here's a long look for Marte. Just missing high left. Uh, and she's been struggling a bit. She's definitely looking to... Uh, to try and clean it up here in the back nine. Come on. Nice. Ooh, great this birdie. Bump, really nice from Ingvild. Fantastic shot from Ingvild. That was a uh, really good way to play this hole. And there's the comebacker bogey from Marte. 
And I believe this will be a double bogey here for our leader. No, just a single with yeah, two yeah, strokes. Can... Right, par five. Yeah, three, <laughs> five. Okay, okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. But a double bogey for Rachel. And moving on to hole 15. Yes, sir. So that's the new one on this course. Slightly downhill slope through the, the fairway to go to the green. 79 meters. So you go straight to the basket. You need to be touching, not to go long. There is the water super close behind it. So yeah, let's go. Let's see. There is that path. Maybe yeah, need to worry a bit about this one. If you go on it and if you skip, you can be maybe in danger to go long. That's the only thing I see here. Yeah, another good disc golf hole. You know, it really tempts the players to go at it. Anakin's got a nice, uh, like, slow, maybe mid-range disc, getting good ground play into the circle. She'll be looking at a downhill birdie putt from about seven meters. Amazing. Looking for the fist bump. And here comes Marte throwing the flick. That's going to fade early. Uh -oh. It's got to get down. Oh, but there is that, okay, high grass there that can, <laughs> that can stop the disc. Yeah, I think it's been stopped just outside of the circle long on the right side. So she should also have a putt. Rachel throwing the putter. It's turned over. It's going to glide to outside of the circle on the right-hand side. She'll have a death putt looking at the basket. And here's our second shot from Ingvild. Ooh, a miss, miss release on the approach there. I don't think she got as far as she wanted. No, she's still out. So this is a very long par attempt and uh more of a bit of a half bid under the basket for bogey big big birdie putt and she wants nothing to do with it no lay up yeah lay up easy chill a long attempt here from marte catching some cabbage late knocking her down she'll have a tap in par and here's our last birdie attempt on the card oh not higher. Yeah, I think she's lucky to catch the top of the basket there. That could have easily glided much further down that hill. Yeah, headwind didn't help, definitely. And I think the comebacker is not too long. Taking her time though, which is nice to see. You can see the wind is uh, really gusting again behind Anakin, which can make these little short putts difficult. Nice. But she's in for par, well done. Important. There is a lot of wind, it looks like. Looks like we also have some spectators out in the canoe there yeah, too. Yeah, you saw that. Which is nice to see. That's Loving great. it. Good way to spectate some disc golf. Yeah, I thought about bringing my canoe over from Canada, but it's a little too big for the uh, for the airlines. So, <laughs> yeah, I'll just have to buy one here. All right, moving on. That uh, oh, look and at voila, this. We even get some B-roll. We have them on the screen with a dog. Easy. I love it. Thank you, Innova, for sponsoring the event. We need to mention it. So, 16, 88 meters. So, that's the site nature hole. So, you need to cross that water. The game plan is not to go for the basket. The green is super dangerous. You go straight 20 meters on, on the right of the target just to ensure you're in and then you lay up, you take your three. I think it's really not the plan to uh, to try to take a birdie here for the players. If you go on into the water, if you miss the fairway, you go to the drop zone, super touchy shot from there also. So better be inside inbounds for the players. Now, yesterday we saw Anakin attack and as a lefty, this is a yeah, very challenging shot. She's doing it again, man. Yeah, today was a a bit smarter though like she's that's a you know it's faded out but uh she's definitely in a good position to uh pitch up for a par yeah and marta going to the the forehand this is gonna fade out and probably get her in a safe position as well to, yeah uh, to pitch up good shot that's a, a nice shot to be honest yeah good positioning all right let's see what rachel can do from standstill looking to carry the water over this beach Oh, no, 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 don't catch him. But she's going so safe. It's exactly the same as yesterday. Yeah. You can really see the, the basket in its precarious position there. But uh, absolutely beautiful as well. 
just such a great signature disc golf hole with oh. a Norwegian beach there as well. Yeah, it looks high. Needs. I don't know if she has it the distance yet. Obi, so she will need to go to the drop zone definitely. And you will be able to see, but it's awful to play from there. We saw Yalte Jensen yesterday completely struggling from there. Yeah, he took a nine, I think. Yeah, right? yeah. In Three times, I think, in the water from there. It that was, was a great uh, approach shot, though, from Ingvild, who's uh, sitting in solo second right now. So that was a very important shot with her Berg. She's also been sort of uh, leaning on that disc this round. That's got to get down. No Oy. way. Wow, that ground play is brutal. Oh, good layup. Yeah, better shot from from Marta. She's in the um, in the bullseye. Nice little fist bump there, and Anakin also looking to do the same. Just get it on that little knoll of grass. Stop the disc. Nice. Yeah. Easy peasy. And it looks like we've got a break in the wind right now too, which is really good for our ladies. And that was for oh. Bobby. Oh, just missed. Yeah, unfortunate for Ingvild to save. The Lucky she didn't roll out of bounds, though. The boogie, yeah, definitely. Ah, we oh, got a call. so there is no B. Well, there is a little white line there. I yeah. think the water is still OB. No, there's an OB line, but I think they're, they're sort of discussing whether or not uh, Rachel has gone OB. To my eye, it did not look like she was. Yeah, and there was not the, the OB graphics, so... Uh, okay, she's so in. definitely a bar for Rachel. Yeah, good job. Good. When in doubt, you know, go to the, the advantage of the player. and that I mean, it looked like it was in bounds, so... Good reaction from uh, from that approach. And Anakin He's also looking be... to tap in the par. Yeah, good job. Yeah, she played that well. I mean, that's the safe play for sure. And as a lefty, it's uh, it's a bit harder. I think in the first round, she actually grip-locked it a bit, but ended up inside of the circle, which was incredible. I mean, just a really cool result, but a challenging hole for a lefty. And here we have hole 17. So the game plan for the lefty is just to go over that water and fade out to the, to the green. For the righties, you can go forehand exactly the same line as the lefties. If you go backhand, you will need to go over that bridge, maybe a bit on the left of it. So there is a lot of OBs with that water. You need to be touchy on the drive. And yeah, let's go, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is a really attackable hole for our FPO division. And uh, it looks like Anakin will be carrying the water the whole way. Come on. This has got to fade Come back. On. It should be, be good. It should be close. Oh, 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 no. No, that's OB. But I think she hit the fairway on the other side. Yeah, yeah, she should be uh, putting from relatively close to the basket for yeah. three. Marta also playing with the OB water in this sidearm attempt. It looks like it will get in bounds, though. Yes, great shot. Let's okay, go. Okay, good. Yeah, good, she good, needed good. that. She's actually running off of two pars right now, which isn't too bad. So she's trying to clean it up in the back four holes. Let's see what she's got for her birdie attempt. And right. here comes uh, Rachel flirting with that bridge, but getting past it. And she's well inside of the fairway. Long, long look for her birdie attempt. But still, nice result off the tee. Okay, take oh. your turn. Take your turn. It looks super nice. Go through. Mm. That's gonna be close. Oh, that's that's in bounds, man. Yeah. Okay. Great. Good. Yeah. Yeah. That drive really held the turn for quite a while, actually. A bit of grip lock on that approach, hitting the tree and rolling outside of the bullseye, but still well within the circle for par. Now here's Rachel deep in circle two. Let's see if she can ring this up. That looks amazing. Ooh. Let's go. Awesome to see that. Let's get our oh, slow motion replay yeah, we here. We have the other angle. Beautiful from Rachel. Catching left side of the chains. Staying nice. in. Oh, beautiful. Dude, that slow motion chain sound is so good too. Yeah, I love it. Like As a disc golfer, you hear that and you're just sort of like, oh yeah. That's you, nice. you know something happened. Yeah, exactly. All right, another uh, long putt here. This is Anakin for par. Oh, I love Great it. Great angle. Great angle from our guys, and she knows she missed it right out of her hand. Just didn't get it over enough. 
So that's and here's, gonna be a bogey, so. That's right, and here's another birdie attempt. Wow, yeah. good uh, dead center. Nice she from Marte. That, man. Yeah. She needed that. It's her first birdie of the day. She's had a rough round, um, including hole number four on the front nine. But uh, yeah, happy to see that. In the mm, second last hole. Left side. Bit of struggles from uh, Ingvild. And just like that, Rachel has uh, regained second place. Yeah, and I think she will even create a small gap. And taking some uh, some strokes back. Also, Nani can you know every every stroke she can get back is uh, is good for her. There is four rounds, so uh, I think the battle between Nani and Rachel is not over, depending on what's happening tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely, and also for second and third place too. So it'll be interesting to see how moving day shapes up tomorrow. Exactly, and let's head to the last one, hole eighteen. So there is again a lot of OBs, you know, whole, the, the whole field on the, on the left is OB, all along the fairway. So the game plan is to go on the first part, go over that, uh, that OB, high grass, and then uh, go to the second part and try to attack the basket on the second shot. There is OB behind the basket, shouldn't be a problem with the fence protecting the players. Let's see, and all the dudes waiting to throne on the basket. So, first up on the tee is Marta following up her birdie. Nice sidearm drive, nice and low, fighting through the wind. Oh, that is inbounds, I think. Yes, good. Right on the line, but safe. Next up is Rachel also throwing a sidearm. Stand still. She's playing that very safe. Uh -oh. Skipping. Off the path, but I think that's also... Yeah, that's inbounds. Yeah, inbounds, but too much on the right. I think the, the big tree is going to mess uh, to mess with her. And again with the lefty hyzer backhand. Really nice controlled shot right in the middle of their little island there. Inbounds. Uh, you can hear the wind. And uh, this has just been such an up and down round with, uh, you know some serious gusts and then and then nothing at all but yeah. it looks like Ingvild's done a pretty good job getting over on that she might be obstructed by that telephone pole but she's also safe so all four of our players will be looking to attack the green on their second shot and first up is Ingvild come on Ingvild turn over oh that's low early release cut roll be careful yeah that's OB, I feel. Oh, that's no, inbound. She stayed in. Okay. My Still bad. Early release, not the best shot. She'll have a long approach to save par. Rachel, yeah, she's cutting that corner and uh, just trying to get it in the fairway. And she's done that well. But again, long approach to save the par. Yeah, good job. She will have a 50 meters approach, something like that. Yeah, you're right, though. She was cut off high on that right side. Now this lines up really well for Anakin. You can see the basket is well off in the distance on the right-hand side, just behind our catch cam. Come guys. on, so that fades looks towards the basket again. Ah, shorter than yesterday. Yeah, she birdied it yesterday from distance, so that's 11 meter putt. You know, she should have a good chance. And she Lots of has the, in the Norwegian gallery. crowd. And here is Marta with her second. She's got a ripping sidearm. Hey. Yeah, uh -oh. Gotta get down. Yeah, I think it's okay. The fence yeah. is there. She's also in circle two, probably at about like 13 meters or so. All right, here's our approach shot from Ingvild, who stayed in bounds on her second. She's okay, looking at the hyzer so... to stop rape. Oh, long. Oh, uh -oh. wow, that's OB, man. That's uh, a mistake. Okay, so yeah. she's going to have some... Uh, yeah, the gap, the gap is going to be... Uh, even bigger between Rachel and her now. Yeah, that was an unforced error as Rachel's going to be looking at a par putt from outside of the bullseye and Ingvild will be looking back for bogey. Now here is a birdie attempt wow. and it's in. Let's go. What? Two birdies to end her round. That is fantastic. So rough round, but great finish. Great yeah, way to end up the round. Love seeing the support from the gallery here too. We're going to have an awesome, awesome gallery for our final round, guys. Be sure to check out that coverage. It's going to be insane.
And look at this. Mm. Oh, nice try. Good birdie attempt there from Anakin. I'm just going wide of the basket. Oh, no. This is going to be a double bogey to end. Three in a row. Man. Let's go, Rachel, to end up the round. Let's see. Okay, good yeah. job. So, Huge swing in our second place scores here in the back nine. Big time. Yeah, five over is pretty okay on that course, Rachel. It's better than the first day, and uh, and I think the gap between her and Ingvild will be a bit higher again. Uh, here comes Anakin back for par. Taking Save her it, time. please. She will walk four over on the round, something like that. Yeah, good job, dead center. Yeah, that's a nice putt. Good way for Anakin. Ingvild with the double, if I don't mistake. Yeah. Yeah, that's three in a row for her. So not the best end, but uh, an okay round overall. And I think, uh, honestly, seeing Marte end with uh, two pars and two birdies is so good to see after her struggles on the front nine. So yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, some great disc golf from our FPO here on round two, back nine. And here's a look at our final scores for our card. Yeah, so Anikan with a six over, comfortable lead, seven strokes on Rachel. Good gap between also Rachel and Ingvild created. So let's see if the other ladies made it happen. So Katarina, yeah, kept uh, kept the fourth place to be in the lead card tomorrow. Camila with a good round, nine over, largely better than the first day. And yeah, let's see, let's see, and uh, oh, let's see what's ha what's happening on the next round. See yeah, you I mean, there. It's moving day, moving day tomorrow. We've got a tie for third place right now on a very challenging track, but uh, still awesome coverage that we've been able to uh, to capture here and share with you guys. And I think we've got uh, some good disc golf coming at us tomorrow in round three. Oh yeah, see you tomorrow, guys.